Welcome to this really lit first episode of me doing whatever I want on the internet. Um, today I will be painting my nails and um, discussing how to, I was going to say achieve, but like you already got it, how to anticipate and adapt to seasonal depression because this is exactly what I'm doing right now because do I really want to paint my nails hot pink no I don't think it's gonna like go with my personality right now oh my god I'm gonna look like a girl um <laughs> I think that the irony of it all will literally pull me out of my misery and listen if it takes something stupid to have that happen for you I don't think it's stupid at all. Look at that. I'm like, I'm gonna look like the literal gay nails emoji. It's gonna be nice. Maybe I shouldn't curse on this channel, considering that I will probably need a job that isn't this, because this would be pretty much cursed if I had to do it forever. Okay, okay. Oh, right, I remember what I was talking about. I have been attending therapy oh my yes God. hide your wife hide your kids um and i've been going in person and this is the first therapist i haven't ghosted so you can call it a success i only recently began to trust her but sometimes that takes time you know i'm not here to judge or anything i don't know how to explain it but she does a really good job obviously she's paid to make me feel like it's fine which she pretty much achieves that, so that's pretty cool. But another thing I've been trying, and I've been watching, I just like, and I've been watching the Chosen Family podcast recently, which if you don't know it, it's a podcast of three lesbians in a row. And they were talking about meditating one time, and I was like, oh my god, I want to meditate really bad. But then I was like, wait, what does that mean? Because like, I go to therapy first of all and so that's like me processing stuff so i'm like is meditation just therapy without the processing but then like no i my left hand guys i think i'm gonna surprise you with how well i do on this hand i don't want to say that now because now i'm really gonna unimpress you but it's whatever so i was like how do you really meditate like what's the difference and then on the chosen family podcast they were like you just stare and you think of nothing and i'm like okay sounds good but then they're like then you think about all the thoughts that you're having so i'm like which one of it is it nothing or something so i was pretty much confused and then i decided to try it and so i sat there in public mind you i sat there in public and i was like i just like looked at people out of the window because i like doing that in the first place and then Actually, I had a good time, but I kept thinking of things I needed to do. And I do have ADHD, so like maybe I need to do a guided meditation. So my therapist told me to do a guided meditation if I didn't know what to do. And then I was like, yeah, but I don't want someone in my ear like, and then you're gonna breathe in, and then you're gonna breathe out. Like, I just, I think that's, I'm sorry to say that I think that's dumb. But if you like it, then that's not dumb. But like for me, I feel dumb listening to that. And so I was like, no. But then I, <laughs> I listened to one guided meditation, thought it was so bad. Listened to another one, kind of slate. So that's my new thing. I'm going to meditate and pretend like I know what I'm doing. And one time I was like, if I could pick a religion, I would pick Buddhism. And then the person that I was talking to was like, you can pick. I was like, whoa, <laughs> kind of kind of shocked me with that dropped a banger i am already like touching all the paint so this is the color the longer i look at it the more i hate it so we're just gonna keep going yeah what else do i do oh, this this move is so annoying what else do i do to combat the the sads i just like hang out with people but honestly anything in increments is kind of a good time so if you get your noise canceling headphones or get some sort of sensory deprivation, you know, gadget, you can 
try to handle something for a little bit and then you can be like oh my god and then you could literally revert back to uh, a quiet a quiet space for a little bit so things are looking up i am making time for my friends and myself and i'm prioritizing what i think should be prioritized and not what other think and not what other people think i should prioritize so the things i actually care about and part of that is realizing what you care about i think i care about my well-being over being an academic weapon that's one prioritization that i've considered and like weighed out in my head i've prioritized cooking for myself rather than doing other things when i get home i'll take a quick shower instead of having this like crazy self-care routine because my self-care i think i want is going to be cooking romantically i haven't prioritized any of that because i don't think i have the room to care for it i only ever prioritize that because people told me that it would be good but not prioritizing that and then not feeling bad about it and then when people tell me that i need that being able to be like well actually i don't think i do need that that is important and that makes me less depressed because it's cuffing season and everybody's like so lonely by the fireplace and they're cold and getting my sweater because i'm cold but not me i'm here painting my nails with my eggnog candle these are the finished finished babies I think this went well. So if this was fun, let me know. If this wasn't, don't let me know. I don't want any negative feedback. I hate that. Bye. This was fun.